Aren't you in a hurry? <laughs> the happy hookah. Okay, off with your clothes. My clothes? You don't think you'll look like a scientist in that, do you? Yeah, but why? Are you taking off yours? Shut up, silly, and come here. What are you gonna do? Check on flowers. No, I'm not sure if this is necessary. First rule of movie makeup artistry. The actor's face must be completely relaxed. And you are really tense. I know how to loosen you up, though. Oh, yeah. Giggity. Just a minute there. You sure seem happy. Gina's disappeared. We don't even know whether she's alive, if she's a prisoner. Nothing. Hey, don't listen to that guy. You can't pass up an opportunity <laughs> like this. You had to, so you did it. Ignore him. It just doesn't seem right to me. And you hardly know that girl in there. And... Come on now. Didn't we talk about how there are times in life when you have to know how to say... Hey, <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Amy, get in here. When the times get tough, the tough get a little crazy. Stop messing around. We've got a lot of work to do. Oh. <laughs> Come on, sit down. I'll start by cutting your hair. No way. I I've been letting it grow for months. Look, do you want to look like the guy in the picture or not? Yeah, but... But nothing. By the way, this may be a good time for you to explain why we're doing all this. Don't you think? You're right. <laughs> it's the least I owe you, but... Get ready, because it'll take a while. My friend Gina wanted to visit Mala Island, so this morning we woke up early to... Perfect. My former boyfriend Zobby's clothes fit you like they were tailor-made. Do Naguki's glasses bug you? No, we seem to have the same lens prescription. Yeah, his eyesight wasn't really that bad. But since he was a physics student and a boring, shy bookworm, they looked right on him. Uh, yeah, I know some guys like that. <laughs> well then... Wait a sec. That suitcase there used to belong to Hune, my Korean ex. I threw some clothes in, just in case they examine your personal belongings when you enter the camp. Now you're just perfect. Oh, are you leaving already? Yeah, I have no time to waste. Goodbye and thank you for, uh... Everything. <laughs> Thanks to you, Kaimi. Bow wow, chicka chicka bow wow. <laughs> By the way, don't forget to tell Joshua to wait for me at Alawala Cove. And remember, when the real pinon gets here. Don't worry, I'll know what to do. Yes. See you soon. Mwah. This is turning Bonjour. into a real spy My name story. Is Pierre Pignon. Yes, sir, but not that I don't trust you, sir, but you can never be careful enough. But, of course, Sojo. Correct. Welcome, Professor. Marine Zachariah O'Connor, at your orders. I'm completely at your service, Professor. Is everything in order? Alors, to the camp. All right, some real progress now, folks. Awesome. So, I finally managed to infiltrate the military camp. In other words, the girl did a nice job on you. How do you know that? I mean, is that what really job is are what you she referring said. to? Ha! The makeup, silly. What else could I mean? Phew. Well, anyway, this... Lokilani took the cosmetics and some clothes to the bar, did my makeup real fast, and then afterwards I changed behind some bushes and... Okay, okay. I can tell there's something you don't want to tell me. Just explain what happened when you sneaked into the camp, will you? Did, did her voice actor change? All right. It's a miracle I'm alive, Just a wondering. Sushi. The whole thing made a 180-degree turn, and nothing had prepared me.
for what was waiting inside. What I did figure out fast was that they were desperately awaiting Pinon's arrival. No sooner did I set down the suitcase in my tent than O'Connor told me the colonel was requesting to meet with him immediately. I tried not to get nervous. If Kortzmeyer recognized me, my fate could be sealed. And when I got to his tent... Dun, dun, dun! Yeah, I don't know why. Just because. Amoeba? What? You look so different, Professor. I didn't remember you being so young. Ah, uh, you know, we French have the magnifique skin creams. Oh, you Europeans. Fancy a cigar? Havana's finest. Sent straight from Guantanamo by my old pal, Colonel Chesson. Uh, merci, but I uh, do not smoke. All the better for me, because I ain't got much tobacco left. My last shipment got dropped by parachute, but the wind blew it off course, and my men can't find it. You should to smoke un peu less, Monsieur le Colonel. I'm twice your age, Professor, so save your advice for the younger whippersnappers. Flower pot? Yes, my Colonel? Tell Chapman everything's ready. Send him in. Professor, I'm gonna put my cards on the table. They say you're the best contactor around since Simon retired. And if I remember right, you were his right-hand man in Operation Platypus Dream. Ah, we oui. Now I remember. That was so funny. A jolly good old time you had, huh? Ha! Who could have known there'd be a rock slide right during the exchange? If they hadn't whipped out that amazing weapon, Simon already christened it as... What was it again? Ah, we. Oui. I began to remember. Truly magnifique. The NG Zero. It vaporized those rocks instantaneously. That's what I call a weapon of mass destruction. Damn, we need one of those. Well, uh, I do not know if I have one, chez moi. Don't be silly, Professor. You're looking a bit too relaxed. I don't want you getting comfy. Like I said, I need you to activate the amoeba. And yes, I know Simon is the only man to achieve that from our side, but the old guy is MIA. In summation, we lost all contact with our guests, which makes us believe there have been technical difficulties. I don't want to spook you, but if we don't activate the amoeba soon, we could lose them forever. I assume you understand how serious this matter is. Sacré bleu, I imagine something like this. I can't quite figure out your accent, Professor. Louisiana? Moi? But I am French, Monsieur. Oh, yeah. France. Great generals, the French. Julius Caesar. Napoleon. Don Quixote. Chapman. It's about time. Sir. Professor Pignon, this is Lieutenant Colonel Chapman, my second in command. He'll take you to your workspace and give you the procedural briefcase. You'll stop working immediately, and I'll let you do so by yourself, as your damn agency's rules ordain. However, I'll be watching your progress up close, and I hope you bring me some good news soon. Open the amoeba, and everything will go just fine. Damn it, stupid microphone in the way all the this time. This way, Professor. Careful with the stairs. And just a note here from me. Is it just me, or do the, those guys just, like, smell like evil? And what is this? Looks like, uh, some sort of... Tool. Please don't fall behind, Professor. Okay, Professor, here you are. Ooh la la, c'est magnifique. This was the first room the archaeologists excavated. The public only had access to the Tiki Temple room, and they made this room into their center of operations. 
It's shameful the way we evacuated them out of there, and with no prior warning or reasonable explanations. We 